Our next example is a diverging lens. We know right away by its shape that that's a diverging lens, but let's see what the focal length of this lens is based upon its parameters. You can see that the radius of curvature of the front end of the lens is 20 centimeters, but since it's bulging towards the observer, like it is over here, the radius curvature needs to be considered negative. So that would be negative 20 centimeters. And then the radius of curvature of the right side of the lens is positive because it's bulging away from the observer. So you can see here it's greater than zero. So it's a plus 20 centimeters. And again, now we have the lens in air. So the index of refraction outside is one for air. So lens maker's equation, one over F is equal to N minus one times one over R1 minus 1 over R2, and so 1 over F is equal to 1.5 minus 1 times 1 over R1, and R1 was a negative 20 centimeters, so it's a minus 20, minus 1 over R2, R2 was a positive 20 centimeters, so oh, I don't have to write centimeters, keep it cleaner, like that. Okay, now notice that both terms in here are negative, so we have 1 over F, is equal to 0 0.5 times negative 1 20th added to a negative 1 20th, that's negative 2 20th, negative 2 over 20. And of course, that's like negative 1 over 10, so we have 1 over f is equal to, let's multiply this times that, so a 0 0.5 times 2 is a 1, so that's a minus 1 over 20. And then if we flip the equation around, because we're looking for f, so then f is equal to the inverse of that, that would be a minus 20 centimeters. Okay, notice that this is now a negative quantity. Negative focal length means it's a diverging lens, and it has a focal length of a minus 20 centimeters. And that's how you do diverging lenses. And our final example is going to be a lens that we typically use for people who need vision correction, who need to see far, so that for nearsighted people, see what that kind of lens looks like. All right. On to the next example.